president of the North Carolina Rotary Club, Abraham Robert, 2012 2013. And before I kind of get on with the rest of these, first of all, how's the food? Is that unbelievable? I mean, they do a good job here. How about Ron Lindblad? This is Dr. Cecilia. This is where, uh, at this building right here in the tables behind us, is where we actually hold our Rotary Club meetings every Tuesday night. For those, again, uh, who have interest in Rotary and wanting to learn a little bit about it, you're welcome to come down any Tuesday night at 6 o'clock. We hold our meetings and grab a place to eat. The first meeting will be on me. But before we, uh, before we start, what I'd like to do is, uh, if everybody doesn't mind like seeing, I'd like to pledge allegiance to the flag. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for taking the time out of your busy schedule tonight to attend tonight's 2012 Community Service Award Dinner. Before we present the award, I'd like to introduce one of our longtime members of the Rotary Club of North Providence, an individual who is synonymous with Rotary, a person that I know many of you do know. And just speak a few minutes about Rotary and how it relates to this award dinner tonight. So let's let her have a hand for Lou Marciano. Uh, some of you know a little bit about Rotary and some of you don't know anything about it. I know Walter remembers. He was in our club some 25 or 30 years ago. Welcome him back. <coughs> and just to give you a quick little overview of what Rotary is and uh, leading up to why we're here this evening. Rotary was started in 1905 and uh, it's miraculous really that we now have in the world 34,000 Rotary clubs. We're in practically every country of the world. I think we're missing a three that are communist type countries and not interested in helping people. And uh, every year we elect a new president. Think of that. Think about having a new CEO every year in your company. But Rotary does that, and the person who's going to be the president the following year uh, is in Evanston, Illinois, where our offices are, and he's getting ready for next year, which begins July 1. Now, we are one of 22 Rotary clubs in Rhode Island, and there are 43 in southeastern Massachusetts, which are part of our district. We are a district of 66 Rotary Clubs. Our motto is service above self. Okay. Every year, the person who is president picks a theme, and his theme is something that he feels might inspire or help people to give a good uh, run for the year that he's president. And the, I was governor one year, back in 1991-92, and I was uh, overseeing all of the 66 clubs. We have a new governor every year also. And the year I was governor, the theme was look beyond yourself. Think of those words. That's what the people who are honoring tonight uh, think about because they give of themselves. And that's what volunteers and people who uh, like to help people do. The next year the theme was real happiness is helping others. Think of those words. Real happiness is helping others. How many times have you ever bought a gift for a friend or relative or spouse or somebody and you can hardly wait to give it to them because you know they're going to be very happy when they receive the reward or receive the gift. Especially my grandchildren at Christmas when I give them $100 bills. <laughs> but uh, real happiness is helping others. And the people who are honoring tonight have given of themselves, and that's what we do in Rotary. Let me read to you what we did with our money last year. We run a golf day every year, and we raise twelve, thirteen thousand dollars and we run a couple of other events. So maybe during the course of the year, we distribute about fifteen thousand dollars. Much of it to the community, and much of it, or some of it, to international causes. I think you've all heard of poliomyelitis, a crippling disease, and we haven't had any cases of polio in this country in about 40 years. But it is still a prevailing disease in many places. And we in Rotary have been working since 1988 to rid the world of polio. And at a time in 1985 when the average new cases every year were 350,000, 
this year, because of our concentrated effort over these past 27 or 8 years, has reduced the polio to fewer than 200 cases in the whole world. Eventually, we hope that we will have a world without polio, just as we had a world without smallpox, the only disease we've ever had eliminated. Here are some of the things we did last year with our money. We gave Johnson High School two scholarships. We gave Johnson High School a community service award. We did the same here in North Providence, two scholarships and a service, community service award. Uh, the Maryville School, as you know, if you live in this community, has a lot of poor people in it, and we give to them at Thanksgiving time uh, certificates to buy food if they have a nice Thanksgiving. They also, at Christmas time, adopt seven or eight of their kids and give them clothing and candy and all of the things other kids get at Christmas time. St. Mary's Home up here, we, we donate to them service and money. Uh, Tri Town Youth Activities, you all know what Tri Town is. Polio Plus, as I've mentioned. St. Anthony's and St. Edward's Food Bank, we've helped them in the past few years for donations of food, particularly <coughs> during Alan Shaw and Feinstein's drive in uh, February and March. Uh, we helped the YMCA in Pawtucket. We uh, provided paint for some projects in Honduras. Uh, this shows you the scope of the places that we go to. Uh, North Providence School Dictionary Project. Every year for the past, uh, beginning this year will be the seventh, for the past seven years we have given every third grade kid a dictionary encyclopedia. And they're terrific. In fact, um, tomorrow we're going to go over and start giving the three of the schools uh, their dictionaries and on Friday we'll do the others. Think of that. Some of these kids tell us that is the first book that they've ever owned. Think of that. I'm sure that you with your families and children have been very generous in your education, a lot of books and stuff. But many of these kids, that dictionary is their very first book. So we're going to do that tomorrow. Uh, we hope the Home and Hospice Care, Rhode Island, Friends of Providence Animal Shelter, uh, Witness for Peace at Providence College, and four or five others. But that is the extent of what we do. Our small little club, 17 or 18 people. Uh, we've got a sign up on the uh, marquee out there asking for anyone who might be interested in Rotary to come join us and think about becoming a member. We would welcome any of you here who would like to become a member because we're here to do good. And uh, Jim Kelly has been in, the road, in our Rotary Club for about 45 years now. Joe Bruno and I are in our 40th year. And we've been doing this not for ourselves because everything is pro bono. In fact, a lot of our money goes into what we do. But we would welcome any of you who would be interested. And so with that as a, a startup, uh, I hope that those who are receiving the awards tonight will be thought of in that light. If they look beyond themselves, and they know the real happiness is talking about. Thank you.